What's going on, everybody? You already know what time it is. Let's go ahead and get on in here, you hear me, and get to it. Hey, I'm about to go ahead and show you that the Americas, North and South, and I do go ahead and say Central right now and said it last because I want you to know that it was um, later added to the um, so-called landmass of Americas. reason why I'm saying it like that, everybody, is because there was no Central America. If you look at the map of America right now, and I'm not talking about the United States, I'm talking about the landmass of America. You will only see North and South America or Upper and Lower Egypt is what you would see. The original. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, America was the ancient dynasty, not the one in Africa. Egypt was not in Africa. Egypt is a Greek name for what is originated in the Americas. They called it Commit, the black land. All of the Americas was a copper colored land. North, south, and if you want to be pretty, go ahead and say central because that is the truth. There are pyramids older there are more pyramids in the Americas than anywhere around the world. Yes, including Africa, which was a baby colony when us over here in the Americas was a prime civilization. Us copper-colored, misnomered African-Americans, who is only Americans, not African and America, we are the prime indigenous copper-colored people of this nation of this landmass once called Turtle Island. We are the original landowners and that's why my copper color brothers and sisters, you can go back one generation in your family tree and the grandparents had more land than five black families not black copper colored families right now today in twenty twenty three. And you keep going back further, they had more because we are the owners. They didn't bring us here to Africa to pick cotton. It does not make sense. How was the cotton even planted here for them to go back and then come back? Who planted it? Who planted the field, all the fields of cotton to bring all those millions of Africans over here to plant all the stuff that they done, all the cotton? To, we was already landowners. We was already sharecropping cotton, tobacco, everything, hemp, everything, maize, a.k.a. corn, the lot. Let's get into this commentary for those disbelievers right now. would have to come together in the Grand Canyon is because that's where people got saved. That's why all of the mountains in, in the Grand Canyon, you have the Isis, Horus, all of them are named Egyptians. And in 1921, I think it was what, 1921, Smithsonian uh, archaeologist was, was riding down the Grand Canyon. It was all called Egyptian names because America is the original Egypt, a commit. There was a cataclysmic destruction before wait let me, let me let me pause before we were called egypt or commit we were called atlantis or atlanteans that is why on the right hand side of the peninsula of florida that ocean that body of water is called the atlantic ocean yes ladies and gentlemen this is probably true and when the cataclysmic destruction sunk off the land bridge on the left side 
of Florida that was attaching two parts of continents to where you could walk from one end to the other. What was left is Florida. And the capital of Atlantis, or the once capital of Atlantis right now, situated in, guess where, ladies and gentlemen, Tampa, Florida. The same Tampa that is spelled with an M that comes from the original spelling that has a N, not an M. The capital of Atlantis is in a city in Tampa, Florida. If you look at the American flag, it is truly upside down and they wave and they flying it high in the wind. Go back thousands of years. I for all the fact checkers right now, go to Google and Google Pharaoh's on throne and you will see an upside down American flag. Nobody sold this flag and made it out of their head for a government that has diabolical soulless people in here. Making people pick cotton and talking about some land and all. No. Those are tricksters. We've had that flag for centuries upon centuries. Even the rebel flag, which is the confederate are you kidding me? The Colorado River through the Grand Canyon and saw these caves and began to explore and found massive hieroglyphs, sarcophagus, mummies, and a, a chain way of a wagon wheel spoke that had roads going out as he went into this cave and went deeper down into it. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think, ladies and gentlemen, if Egypt originally was in Africa, then please explain to me why is there an, a pyramid on the back of the American dollar bill? Why do you think is that? Why is that on the American currency, the fiat currency, the trade choice? Of commerce. Why is an if if Egypt was in Africa, why is an African pyramid, which I'm just saying it like that because it's not true, it's not an African pyramid. What I'm trying to tell you, if the pyramid if Egypt was really in Africa, why is the uh, an African pyramid supposedly an African pyramid is on the back of an American dollar bill? It's because Egypt is not and never was in Africa. Egypt have always been America, and that is why we see pyramid on the back of our fiat currency, the American dollar bill. It's because we're standing on Egypt right now in the Americas and America has more pyramids and the oldest pyramids than anyone anywhere in the entire world. Hmm. Yeah, there are portals in yeah. And in Arizona, they have what's called South Mountain and God's Gateway. And Arizona is a very important part because the Vatican has an observatory with the only binocular telescope looking through a golden binocular telescope. And the telescope is called the Lucifer. In, uh, in Arizona? Yes, on a sacred mountain of the indigenous peoples. And they do a lot of stuff on these sacred mountains, man. man. Because they know it's portals and it's a lie. Lake Lanier. And um, many, many, many other lakes are man-made and they flooded our copper-colored community's history with bodies of water that they call lake so no one could find the evidence of who we really are. 
This is fact, ladies and gentlemen. This is not no conspiracy. This is not Don Callahan, aka Kill Kill, trying to sound very smart on some social media platform. I have always been committed to bringing you what God says is the only thing that can set you free, and that is the truth. You do. You must understand something. You've been who winked. As he went into this cave and went deeper down into it. Hmm. Yeah, there are portals in there. And in Arizona, they have what's called South Mountain and God's Gateway. And Arizona is a very important part because the Vatican has an observatory with the only binocular telescope looking through a golden binocular telescope. And the telescope is called the Lucifer. In, uh, in Arizona? Yes. On a sacred mountain of the indigenous peoples. I'm going to tell you why it's called Lucifer. One reason it's called Lucifer is because when you hear the word, you have, it has you thinking something negative, uh, evil, demon, devil, whatever, uh, uh, entity that is against God. No, Lucifer comes from two terms. The first one is Lux, L-U-X. Lux means like. It is a Latin or Greek term, whichever one, please don't quote me. I say Latin or Greek because I have studied this stuff for so long. I have forgotten what chronological order it is. So I'm telling you which two you can choose or research from to get the proper one. It's narrowed down to two. Lux means light. Star light shine bright in the night light lux means light and cipher means a circuit or a circle so circles of light or circuits of light lucifer does not mean a devil it means illumination an illuminating orb or illuminating cipher or circle that is one of uh, the most uh, important reason why the Vatican has a telescope that is called Lucifer, because they are looking at lights in circuit. Get it together. Get out your religious superstition. And they do a lot of stuff on these sacred mountains, man. man. Because they know it's portals and it's aligned with the heavens. This is why we, we knew to be in certain places at certain times of a season. And that these alignments bring down energy. And if you know how to use your energy, just like the Pyramid of Giza, it's not a tomb. It was a transport station in which you, the way that the outside of the pyramid was built, covered with limestone and a gold cap on the top, the, the bim bim stuff. When you go inside in the king's chamber and the queen's chamber, there was a sarcophagus. <coughs> and the way in which the granite, remember I said, Georgia is the granite capital. Mm -hmm. When you take that granite and you pitch it in certain ways to where you get acoustics, to where when you go into a mantra and you put that person into a, a, a crystal granite sarcophagus and you begin to transport through the mantras of vibration, his spirit can travel back into the cosmos or it can bring people into what we call a wormhole. That's why when they did, when, when uh, Roddenberry did the thing of Star Trek, he had to start with, with, the, with, the, with the person who talks to the universe, Lieutenant Oru, mm. the black woman mm -hmm. who talks to the universe. And then you had the next. And listen, when he say black woman, what he's saying is the copper color woman. Because the copper color woman creates the body suit for each soul to wear in this dimension. And you cannot jack into this matrix without a body suit. So the copper color woman is the mother of body suits. Her and the universe has an agreement to work in cahoots so that souls from light realms can enter this physical corporeal matrix and move through it. And, 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 and uh, experience whatever it comes here to experience. You go to your church and get baptized by your preacher, right? Uh, no, 
do away with childish things. Those are traditions and rituals. You have never been baptized in a church by a person called a preacher because that is not baptism. The only and the only original baptism there ever was when you, the soul, entered this realm and took on the bodysuit that your physical parents uh, uh, made for you. Your father gave his Y and your mother gave her X chromosome. And those are the building blocks that built your suit and you entered it. And you waited in the river of Jordan in your in her placenta. And then the water of Jordan broke. And you came out of those waters a new creature. Only baptizing, a baptism it is, is the uh, uh, mother's sack breaking. Letting, or naturally letting everybody be prepared that it's time for the new creature to come. who was guiding the ship and navigating was not able to see but using transmission through his third eye navigating the bar burden next you have deep space nine at the wormhole black man Bring it back a little bit. Mm. the black woman mm -hmm. talks to the universe and then you had the next one who was guiding the ship and navigating was not able to see but using transmission through his third eye navigating the bar burden next you have deep space nine at the wormhole, black man with his son, the captain of Yes, yes, you, you, you guys have really been fooled and I cannot understand how when the universe and cosmos and what you call God and that term God, I really don't like. I'm only using it for the sake of discussion, but you read, you need to reprogram yourself to that. Whenever you hear the term God, immediately erase the image of a white physical anatomy of a man because God is energy, positive and negative. Light and darkness, you got to have both. Just like a car, have to have the positive post and the negative post to turn the engine on. Night is not negative and bad and evil. It is the opposite end of polarity. You must have polarity. The pyramids were natural energy generators nikola tesla duplicated it with his wharton cliff top see these pictures I, I i line these pictures up to definitely show you that the bottom picture with the three pyramids of giza shooting energy up because there's an aqueduct from the bottom of the base of the pyramid that goes down into the earth and tap into the water table and this movement of body of water uh, uh, and within the granite and shoots the energy, the same energy that you see when you're walking on a hot road and in the distance you see the heat waves coming off the road, where that same energy is channeled through the tips of the pyramid and the three belts uh, are the three stars in the belt of Orion are not stars at all, but they are puncture points in the plasmic dome that is why they line up so perfectly with the three pyramids of gaza <laughs> I'm going to have to do a part two to this, sir. I'm not going to go deep. I'm not going to go deep because I really have to expound and break this down. Really, be prepared because I'm pulling no punches. 
I'm bringing nothing but the truth, ladies and gentlemen. If you do not believe me, go ahead and validate it and invalidate it. Prove it wrong. Research it. But please do not open your mouth with opinions and, and, and hopes that you can disprove it without coming with receipts and facts. Sit down and learn something because every leader knows when to follow. And I've followed and I've led and I am still following today and still leading because every leader knows when to follow. I love you. Get this truth. Free yourself. You did.